In this video, we are going to be gathering evidence for our claim that air has mass. So to begin, let's take a look at this video of a basketball. It tells us on the left here that the deflated basketball has a mass of 576 grams. That means that the basketball all by itself, without anything inside of it, has this mass. After adding air, the inflated basketball has a mass of 581 grams. Notice that once air is added to the basketball, the mass increases. That leads us to understand that the only way that the mass of the basketball could increase is if the air itself has mass. So we say, therefore, the mass of the air added was five grams. And we can actually watch this video Notice, as we zoom in on the balance, we are able to see that the deflated or empty basketball has a mass of 576 grams. Air is then added to the basketball using this pump. Now, the filled basketball, that would be fun to play with and bounce around, has a higher mass. The mass is increased to 581 grams. Again, the only thing that has changed with this basketball is the addition of air. So that tells us that the air has a mass of five grams. To further support our claim that air has mass, we're gonna take a look at a different scenario. In this scenario, this is a can of compressed gas. That means that there is gas inside of here, but it is squished in there really, really tightly, and so there's a lot of pressure inside this can. The can of compressed gas has a mass of 135 grams. After letting gas out of the can, the can now has a mass of 132 grams. Therefore, the gas that escaped had a mass of 3 grams. So let's watch the video again. Here is the can of compressed air or compressed gas. And we see, this is a duster by the way, we see that the can has a mass of 135 grams. This is a full can. Once the gas is released from the can, the button is pushed and gas comes out, we don't see it. If we were there, we would hear it or it would be cleaning off our keyboard on our computer, for example. Um, but even though we don't see it, we know that air is being released. And now we look and we see that the mass has decreased to 132 grams. This tells us that the air that was released had a mass of three grams, or the gas in this case that was released had a mass of three grams. So now we have two different sources of evidence that air has mass. You will use this evidence to complete the evidence portions of your notebook and then to write your claim. Good luck, scientists.